Hello to all you healthy blood pressure warriors. My name is David Fry and I'm the founder of HealthyBloodPressure.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about the symptoms of low blood pressure. Most people know that high blood pressure carries major risks and that's why they take steps to keep their blood pressure low. But did you know that blood pressure can also be too low? When blood pressure is too low, it's called hypotension. And hypotension can also be risky, if not as risky as hypertension. So how do you know when your blood pressure is too low? What are the symptoms that you should look out for? Most importantly, what causes low blood pressure anyway? Let's take a closer look at low blood pressure and find out the answers. First of all, what is low blood pressure? Your blood pressure reading typically shows two numbers. The top number is the pressure with which your heart pumps blood into your blood vessels. And the lower number is the pressure when your blood vessels relax. The normal reading of your top number should be ideally around 120. And the lower number should be around 80. But as long as your top number is above 90 and the lower one is above 60, you should be okay. The problem begins when your blood pressure falls below 90 over 60. That's when your doctor would say you have low blood pressure. Normal blood pressure is essential for proper blood circulation. So what happens when your blood pressure falls? A slight fall in blood pressure may not matter much, but if the pressure is too low, blood circulation suffers. Then the blood cannot carry sufficient amounts of oxygen and other nutrients to your entire body. Lack of nutrients and oxygen can be harmful to your vital organs, and then your brain, kidneys, liver, and other organs begin to fail. So you can see how dangerous very low blood pressure can be. So let's talk about some common symptoms of low blood pressure. Now most people with slightly low blood pressure experience no symptoms, but you need to be cautious and check if you have any of the symptoms. And this is because the fall in blood pressure can indicate underlying issues. These are some common symptoms of low blood pressure. Fatigue. You're tired all the time with no motivation to work. Lightheadedness. You often feel like you're going to faint. Dizziness. You feel unbalanced as if you'll fall. Nausea. You feel like throwing up. Dry or clammy skin. Your skin may be too dry or too moist with sweat. Fainting. If your blood pressure is too low, you could even faint. Depression. Low blood pressure can make you gloomy and moody. Vision problems. You may see stars or may not see things clearly when your blood pressure falls. Dehydration. You may feel thirsty more often. So let's talk about what causes low blood pressure. Minor drops in blood pressure can happen to anyone. But the cause could be serious if blood pressure continues to fall for a long time. Here are some common causes of low blood pressure. Number one, injury. An accident or a serious injury can cause blood loss. And too much blood loss can lead to low blood pressure. Heart disease. Faulty heart valves make it difficult for the heart to pump blood normally. This could harm the circulation of blood. An improper blood circulation could cause low blood pressure. Number three, allergies. Some people are severely allergic to certain foods or environmental toxins. These allergies could cause anaphylactic shock. Your immune system then acts rapidly and releases high amounts of chemicals in the body. And these chemicals can cause your blood pressure to drop. Infections. Some forms of blood infection can cause low blood pressure. Number five, chronic diseases. Certain lifestyle illnesses such as diabetes and thyroid disease can also cause lower blood pressure. Number six, pregnancy. Pregnancy can sometimes lower your blood pressure, and this is because the baby demands a high volume of blood from the mother's body. Number seven, medications. Some medicines that treat heart diseases can cause blood pressure to fall. Other medications that treat depression or reproductive disorders can also cause low blood pressure. So in summary, high blood pressure is common, but low blood pressure can be risky as well. 
Most people with slightly lower blood pressure can lead a normal life. These people don't have any symptoms, but severely low blood pressure can be a sign of something worse. So watch out for symptoms such as fatigue, weakness, and dizziness. These are the three major symptoms, but there are others. Talk to your doctor if you feel any of the low blood pressure symptoms. They should be able to find out if there are any serious causes. Monitoring your blood pressure regularly can help you to prevent life-threatening conditions. Share with me in the comments below if you have low blood pressure and what symptoms you are dealing with. Hi there, if you suffer from high blood pressure like I do and you want to receive my educational videos about how to lower your blood pressure, I'd like to ask you to do three simple things right now. Number one, click the subscribe button right there. And then number two, click on the bell icon right down there so that I can notify you the moment I release a new video. And number three, watch another one of my more popular healthy blood pressure videos right over there. Okay, thanks for watching and have a happy and healthy day.